Okay, my friends, so I thought I would show you um, some things you'll need to do an at-home manicure. I actually, it's seldom, I seldomly go out and have a manicure. I guess I enjoy the alone time and just the whole experience of it, I guess. Um, so I'm going to show you the products that I have. I have an abundance of products. Uh, you all know that I'm licensed, so I have access to all of them, but I did try to select products that you may be able to find a lot easier uh, instead of using just my professional brand. And um, I will put everything below so that you uh, can just link to it and see what it is. Uh, I think I have adjusted everything perfectly here so you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing. All right, so I'm just going to take you from the beginning to the end, and then I'll show you some extras. So of course, you will need a bowl. You do not have to have a manicure bowl, a, a cuccio bowl. You can go to Sally's and get the little finger ones that your hand kind of rests in, uh, or just a bowl from your kitchen. It really doesn't matter, but you will need a bowl, bowl for some warm water. Uh, I do use a uh, manicure soak, and this is by Cuccio, and um, it can be purchased online. It's a, it's a, it, this gives you more of a spa-like experience, but this is their purifying manicure soak, so you will need some sort of soak. If you have a shower gel that you like, or um, a nice hand wash that you like, just go ahead and use that. Okay, of course you will need a nail polish remover and um, this is the three-in-one formula remover plus from Zoya. I had stopped using the Zoya nail polish because I thought it was drying out my nails uh, and sometimes I still don't use it. I will just buy a non-acetone nail polish remover and pour it into this because it has that push down top that I can just lay my cotton pad on and I really enjoy. Um, so uh, you can use any nail polish remover you like. Uh, if you are not using gel products, uh, gel nail polishes, try to stay clear of acetone. It is not really healthy for us. But I'm not going to preach, all right? So you will need a um, nail polish remover. You will need some sort of cotton. Now I use the cotton um, that's by Intrinsics. And the packages look different. There's two different types of packaging for them. One, it comes like this, and one, it comes like this. I think they've gone into this one as their newer packaging. And the reason why I like this cotton pad is because it has a gauzy effect. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up in the camera. But it is like a gauze, so there's a little friction when you're removing your nail polish from, uh, from your finger. And uh, it just, I think it helps in assisting it to come off a little easier. Because if you're not using acetone, you do have to put a little elbow grease into removing the nail polish. So you'll need some sort of co cotton. Uh, and then we will go into our cuticle uh, removers. Now, uh, you can go ahead and buy CND has a cuticle away remover, and Cuccio also has a manicure uh, cuticle softener. Uh, you can use these, or for a very inexpensive version, and this one here has been around forever, and when I went to the WEN Spa uh, in Las Vegas, the uh, girls were using the Blue Cross cuticle remover, but they were using it on my feet actually to remove the dead dry skin. So I went and bought a bottle because I had forgotten about this. This is what we used when I was training in school for manicures. And uh, this works very quick. And um, I just saved an old solar oil bottle, bottle and I pour it into it and then I can just brush it onto my fingernails. And, you know, I go on and off. I do have my favorites. This is a very, very good affordable. At Sally's, this costs $4.99. I do have favorites, so I thought I would definitely show them to you. And one is the uh, Mavala. I love Mavala nail products. And this is their cuticle remover. I love this. You just simply brush it on and it will loosen up cuticle, excellent. 
and also by Orly. This is their Cutique. This is a fabulous cuticle remover and sometimes this one is hard to find. Of course I will put a link below and uh, try to make it easier for you. But um, I can buy this in my mall at a um, hair salon. So they carry all of the Orly products. I've looked for it at <clears throat> Sally's and I've not seen the Cutique yet because they repackaged this and it just started coming back. But this is really fabulous. Joelle told me all about this one. All right, so there you have it for your cuticle remover. You will also need some tools for your cuticle. I highly suggest if you are untrained in manicures and you're trying to do this at home yourself that you go with the orange sticks, the cuticle sticks because using a metal, if you don't have the pressure down right, you are going to actually push away and peel away some of your own nail. If you're using the wooden cuticle sticks, there's no chance of you doing that, okay? So if you are inexperienced, I highly recommend cuticle wood sticks, all right? And you will need some sort of cuticle nippers. I use the nippers from OPI, I like them the best. Um, I think that their blades work the best. And again, if you're someone who's not really steady with these kind of things, perhaps, you know, you should um, refrain from cutting your cuticles. Anyway, we're not going to actually cut the cuticle. Well, I'm going to show you, so we'll see. Maybe you'll get the hang of it. Uh, and there are metal, metal um, options for cuticle removers. But like I said, stick with the sticks if you're inexperienced. Uh, you'll need a nail brush because once you have soaked your nails a little bit, you'll want to just, you know, scrub them up a little bit. I hate anything under my fingernails. And as women, we clean and we cook and sometimes things will get under our fingernails. So uh, I also have one of these in my shower just to go ahead and keep my fingernails clean even when they're polished. Uh, I like these little buffing sponges and I buy the um, finest I can find. I don't buy the blue ones, they're a little rougher, but I use this just for buffing my fingers uh, just to buff away any, you know, imperfections or little snags I might have. I use them, but they're also great at buffing in your nail oils, all right? And I also have the this type of buffer uh, to buff in nail oil, oils. If you're somebody who doesn't like to wear nail polish but you like your hair, nails to have a healthy sheen, you can just take your oils and then use something like this and it leaves a beautiful sheen on the fingernail, okay? So that is another option but not a must-have. That one's not a must-have, all right? So of course you will need some nail files and I use the Star Pro. I believe these can be purchased at Sally. I do have an extra heavy finisher and this is for when a nail actually breaks at a weird spot and I have to really get it down. Uh, half of it broke and the other half didn't. Uh, I'll just file it down. You can take a pair of clippers and clipper it down. But uh, my most favorite and my most used um, file is the 280-320 grade. This way if you're you know, there used to be, you used to have to file in one direction because these were what, much too rough and if you went back and forth you were damaging the nail. Now they're so fine that you can just, you can actually go back and forth and you're not really doing any damage. I always file dry nails, okay? Because when your nails are wet they do expand a little bit. Alright, so then you will need, of course, if you have highly ridged nails or your ridges are really noticeable, you may want to go with a ridge filler. And I like the Mavala ridge filler. I think it's one of the best. You will also need a base coat. And if, if you're not using a ridge filler, absolutely, you will need a base coat. Um, there are some gel products out that are the uh, temporary gel, they're, they're not the ones that you use the lights with, that you don't use any sort of base coat with. So always know what products you're using and what you're supposed to be using with them. I'll show you some of those products today. But anyway, a, a good base coat. And then you'll need a really good top coat. And I like the Mavala top coats, and I also like the, um, Miracoat Top Coat Super Fast 
um, dry. This one here is really a fabulous product. It's by Dury. And again, I will link everything for you. So don't worry about, you know, just look underneath the video. Everything will be there. Of course, you will need your favorite nail color. Um, I have several here and I'm going to show you a couple more. I'm actually going to be doing another video, a comparison video on some of the gel products. So I won't be polishing my nails, uh, all of them the same color today. I will be doing um, a different video for that. So I'm just going to walk you through a manicure and that'll be it. Uh, a nail polish. And then if you want to dry your nails quickly, you can use a um, top coat that is a speed dry, but there's also oils that you can drip onto the nail and it helps to dry them quicker. If you're somebody who has nail problems and you'd like your nails to grow quickly, Mavala makes a product called Maver Mavada Mavaderma, Mavaderma by Mavala and it helps to speed up nail growth. Uh, there is one product and I believe that they have removed the formaldehyde from this because formaldehyde is a big, it's a hot button. Um, but if you are somebody who has really rough nails and you're trying to grow them, this product called Rejuvacoat, it's a seven day process that you use, is phenomenal. And it is also by Dory, but it has some nasty chemicals in it, okay? Let's just get that out there. All right, and of course, to finish off your manicure, you're going to need a wonderful um, hand cream. And when you're working on your cuticles, you will also need a nail oil. Now, I use the solar oil. Cuccio also has a wonderful cuticle revitalizing complex. These are good for um, just applying daily to your cuticles to keep them nice. But I use these, this I'll use today in a manicure, but I also use it at night sometimes. But I also have a couple of other products to show you beforehand. Also another rapid dry that you can spray is by OPI and you just polish your nails and spray them at the end and it helps to dry them quicker. If you're somebody who has a real problem with uh, nail polishes, all nail polishes staying on your nails, and this was something that I also learned at the Wynn, uh, when I was at the Wynn in Vegas, um, they have a product called Bond Aid, and it's by OPI, and you just put a little bit of this on your dry nail before you nail polish, and this will help your polish last longer, okay? Uh, I have some favorites that I use on a nightly basis to keep my nails going good. And of course, Equinol. Uh, if you've not seen my videos on the Equinol nail products, uh, Joelle sent these to me years ago and they will give you nails so strong, so healthy, you will not believe it. They, this is the most fabulous nail system, but hard to get sometimes. But I want it, and it's a little pricier for uh, those who have a tighter budget. Um, but these are really, really nice nail uh, products. Uh, Mavala also has a cuticle cream that you can apply nightly or daily, whenever you like to do that. And then there's another product that you can find at Ulta. It's called Dermalect. And this is a rejuvenal fortifying nail cuticle treatment. It's a nail strengthening treatment that you would put on your nails daily and it works very well. I actually bought the whole system and I may uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, do a little video on that. You know, this video has already been 15 minutes, so I'm going to make these a couple of um, one, two, three, four parters because I want to show you the gel polishes that I'm going to be using. Um, but anyway, I will do the manicure in the next video, okay? So I'll put them up in, an or in order and you'll see the manicure next, all right? So I did want to show you that I'm going to be doing some uh, gel polishes, a little comparison between them, and one of them is the OPI Infinite Shine 2 and the other is the Vinulux by CND Weekly Top Coat and uh, a nail product. I'm going to be putting these on each finger and then I will test them out to see how long they truly last. And then the other I'm going to do is the um, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. I'm going to do this with their top coat and nail product. And the little surprise is, is I bought to give away. One to give away of each of them. So someone will get one of those, or someone will get the Vinulax, 
and it's going to be three different winners and you know you're going to get one of you will get the Sally Hansen one of you will get the CND and the other of you will get the complete system for the OPI so you might want to watch the manicure videos all right thanks for stopping by don't forget subscribe we're anti-aging here be happy be healthy be beautiful and most of all my friends be lovable be sure to comment tell me if you are someone who does a manicure at home or if you splurge and you go weekly to have a manicure um, and what are some of your favorite products you know i have tons but i don't know about everything and um yeah, just uh, be sure to comment and be subscribed because you know there's something coming ahead and I never say when it's going to be, but you know it's going to happen. All right, bisous my friends, bisous.